What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to New Woodshire here on Farming Simulator 19. I have adopted this map as my Let's Play for the month. My personal Let's Play. Stuff that I'm doing off screen. So nothing on screen, no nothing. This is just me having fun jumping on a map and enjoying myself. And I wanted to bring you guys along today with me playing some farm sim because I never get to just play and have fun. So one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to sit back, relax, and play more Farming Simulator for fun. And so that's exactly what I've been doing. I started playing a little bit on Oakfield Farm and I had a great time over there, um, but I was progressing pretty quickly and things went well. I was like, you know what? Let's jump out of there and let's try another map. And so I jumped in this one and I tried something new. I tried a completely different setup than I think I've ever tried before. And that was starting with whatever base game equipment I was given. And I went from there. So what I mean is obviously you don't get a modded, come on, don't go sideways. You don't get a modded combine as base game on a map. It just doesn't happen. It has to be all base game equipment. But what I've done is I took the area and I took all of the starting equipment that you get a new farmer and I said okay this is what we've got this is what we're rocking with this is you know a and b and whatever and so I decided okay let's take this equipment let's sell some of it let's keep some of it so you're gonna miss that spot nah, we're good um, and so I decided to keep some of the equipment so both of the tractors I kept however the combine was <laughs> it was the bison and that's not gonna work so i got rid of the bison and i purchased this which i believe daggerman's using on something that he's doing and so i decided i was like you know what that is gonna be perfect and then i saw these trailers i was like well using these trailers already on another map why don't i just continue to use them here and then add the second trailer on the back which seems to be working really well i used to do this all the time playing farm sim uh, especially on farm sim 17 what i would do is i would buy because most of the time you got one of one of these trailers and so i would just buy the other one and you'd have a little trailer head you know little, little thing right here and you could move a whole lot more than you could normally buy yourself so there we go we are all done completed their task sweet so we're gonna come around and i have purchased another uh baler down there I'm trying to not lease equipment so oh, if i can push the brakes i can show you what we're using so we've got the jcb fast track 4220 we have the base game case ih 7250 pro um, both of these of course have in the 200 horsepower range which i thought was plenty enough then i have the cr690 which i've used a little bit on charwell but i haven't used it extensively so i decided to go with that then of course we have our two tdk and the hkd or T tkd and h these and then of course we have the draper stream 900 we've got that guy right there um this is the modded version from the mod hub not my version that i modded of this one we also have a john deere baylor which i thought was hilarious pulling it behind the case <laughs> and i've got it by the case right now and then all the stuff that you start with so um what i'm doing with this field right here we're actually going to go sell some stuff right now we need to double check and see what our price is for wheat. Wheat prices are good. We're gonna be going to Central Grain Elevator and we're gonna be doing that, getting that sold. I've got the JCB on the cart right now. It doesn't have as much horsepower, but it goes faster. So I would much rather, you know, not be going full speed, but still going like 20, 20 to 30 miles per hour instead of going full speed at 24 miles per hour and going uphill. It's saying just, it has a tough time. And then we're gonna go over. I'm going to fill up the back. Again, as you guys may know, or you may not know, I prefer to wait in using all of the grain from our silo. So uh, I did a wheat harvest just now. So I'm going to go fill up with all the wheat that we've got in there and then take that with me. Now, there are a few things that we start with on this map as far as land goes that I have since sold. Did I turn off traffic? Is traffic on? Traffic's on. Okay. 
<laughs> just got across there without hitting anybody. All right. This is going to be our primary farm. I am going to sell the other farm. You can't sell it with stuff on it. So I'm going to have to sell it a roundabout way. And, uh, and we're actually going to be doing that today. I'm not sure which, uh, which area is which. So um, we're going to have to deal with that. I'm also not cheating money or anything like that. In my personal Let's Play, start overloading wheat. I don't want to start overloading wheat. I want to get more wheat in here. Um, so I don't cheat in money or anything like that, but we will have to do a little bit of cheating today just to get everything where it needs to be. So we've got this. We've still got about a thousand liters of wheat in there, but I'm not too crazy concerned about that. Central Grain Elevator, I believe is where we're going with this. Yep. Best price there's Central Grain. Let's tag it. Let's look around. I see exactly where we're at. <laughs> well, we are struggle bussing for real, but at least it's working. Come on, get up the hill. There we go. And this all wheel steering really helps as well. But this does not like to run this. This is a really, really tough thing. Eh, but that's all right. I've got everything set to left side tip. So I'm hoping to be able to get in here and we'll go ahead and get a tip signal. Yep, there's that. Maybe we can pull forward just a little bit as well. Um, actually. Okay, so that is going to be a very difficult tip to make happen in here. I want to do this because I don't believe that you can tip in your, like if you've got two of these guys together, you can't tip the front one without the back one doing some weird stuff. But also, if you do it that way, it's going to dump out a whole lot faster as well. Look at that, $26,000 already. We're going to get another $26,000 right here. Money's going up. That's great. Uh, I have no reason to sit around and save money right now. But the problem is, I don't actually know what I need. I don't know what I, if I need to buy anything yet or not. So we're just going to hold on to that. Wait, see? We may end up buying some new land. We may end up buying a semi-truck. So I don't have to do this anymore. We may even go through and buy a bigger tractor. Because right now, one combine, one tractor. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's get this booger out of the way. I do have the folding uh, folding header on here. And the great thing is too, there is a custom New Holland yellow color that comes with this mod. So if you guys are using it, uh, I highly recommend it because it is fantastic. Coming through here, perfect, awesome, that's good. Oh yeah, I have another field to do. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Was that oats? Nah, of course it's oats. Here's what we own so far. Um, what I want to do is purchase this area up here. I don't want to own this farm right here. I'm not going to be doing sheep and I'm not going to be doing horses to start with. Possibly pigs, possibly cows. Either way, this area is way easier, e easier? easier and more accessible because we have a whole lot larger fields over here than we do here. Plus over there, they're not all on hills like they are right here. This one's a, a booger and a half. So I'm just going to hire a worker on this while we're getting up our straw. We do have some straw to get up, and we're going to collect that up. We're doing square bales, so that's another thing. We're doing square bales with this one. Come on, come on, get up the hill. Let's move. Um, there's one thing about this header and combine pair. Um, it drags the ground a little bit. I tried this with wheels, and it was real bad. Um, put the tracks on here on the combine seem to be working a little bit better and a little bit easier um, It's fine. We're going six miles an hour. It's not gonna go 30 miles an hour like the modded version I've got uh, I'm just dragging the ground too much, but this one this you know this one's it's it's not bad could be way worse There we go. There is one headland. I'm not even gonna worry about hitting the side right here I'm just gonna go ahead and drive down to the other animal hit a headland down there and then hire the worker off and let them do their thing Tell you what, after, uh, what was it? Actually, tomorrow, I've got a video coming out on Somerset Farm tomorrow where I combined an entire field on purpose. I did it. Nobody else did it. Nobody forced me to do it. I did it on my own, and I have no idea what in the world I was thinking. But, hey, I did it, and it worked. I couldn't hire a worker. There was something going on with the header that I was using. Modded headers are crazy weird. Sometimes you get a booger. I got a booger. So let's finish this up. I'm gonna hire the worker off and then we have some bailing to do. Here we go. 
the trigger monster, as I like to call it. You've got a John Deere classic baler with a classic case tractor in the front. I couldn't have thought of a better combination than these guys right here because I thought this was absolutely hilarious. Rock it through. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're curious, because I haven't mentioned, I am on PC. I probably got that already, but I am playing my personal Let's Play on PC. The reason I'm playing my personal Let's Play on PC is because I have a laptop. That's why I bought the laptop. Right now, we're on my computer. But the game saves go back and forth. Everything's on Steam, so my game saves will go back and forth for me, which is kind of nice. We drop a... Sh yeah, we already got a straw bell on the ground. I'm digging that. That's all right with me. Um, I don't know if I want to hit the headlands first or how I want to do this. I haven't actually thought this far ahead yet. I also don't know if I'm going to keep the bales or not um, because we are bailing, not running loose. Most of the time, I run loose if I'm going to do animals, but we're doing bales. So what do we do? Hmm. I don't know. I think we will likely sell these bales. I don't think we're going to be keeping these at all. I did like this uh, this baler, though. Really, $12,000 baler, something like that. Super mega, mega cheap. Very affordable. Um, this is part of the crap. Or the, part of the, <laughs> part of the crap. Part of the uh, pack with the chrome baler and the John Deere baler all in one. I'll tell you what. It is really hard to beat this, and I was like, well, since we're on an American map, let's use John Deere. So John Deere and Case, uh, Case was already on the map, so I didn't I didn't even buy this one. This was already a base game uh, tractor on here. What do you guys think? What do you think of my setup so far? Again, no money has been cheated in, nothing like that. I've just been running and enjoying myself and having fun playing Farming Simulator. That's the whole point, you know, with Let's Plays and stuff like that. You got something that you want to happen. You you gotta cheat. Most of the time, you just gotta cheat. But here, I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying myself. There's no reason to cheat. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna use an auto load bell trailer. We may use a uh, a mechanically loaded bell trailer. Who knows? We'll find out and see. So let's hit some more of this. Let's hit. Uh, let's see how much of this field we can get done. I don't believe this field was fertilized, so we're not getting a ton of straw, but we're still getting enough to make it worthwhile. And, uh, well, we've got straw in the other field as well, so we're going to do all that. And then, once we get all of it up and sold, then we will be finding a way to, A, sell this straw. So we need to find a place to sell the straw bales. And then we are going to, which I think I know where we'd be going, and I don't want to go there. And, uh, well, and then we've got to figure out a way to sell this area without messing anything up. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. Field one is done. Actually, I think that is field one. Yeah, that is field one. That's pretty funny. Field one's done. We're gonna come over here and see how Dummy's doing. Uh, I have a funny feeling that he's just not doing a good job. Something tells me to keep an eye on him. I feel like he should be done by now. I mean, it's it has been a hot minute. What have you been doing? You've been wasting time, hadn't it? That's why I'm already over here waiting on him. Err, rabble. We will have to take a look and see how many bells we've created. That is going to, um, that's going to be a big factor in what we decide to get. We are going to have to buy. I think we're going to have to buy. We probably will be buying. Um, we're going to have to figure out, are we going to buy, I guess, from there? Maybe we'll lease. We own a baler, so we're, there's plenty of plans in the works for doing this. We're gonna be doing a crop rotation cycle. Um, so I will be trying to plant different crops every single time. Attemptedly trying to plant new crops every single time. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, over here, let's see, 20 and 31 are ready to go. So we need to go ahead and start buying some of these fields because we've got enough money. Uh, let's see, 32 and 33 are grass. 18, we do not want to deal with cotton, even though we could. We're just not going to get enough off of it. Field 20. Should we get field 20? Value, balance. So I don't even have enough money. Great. Makes me look real, real, real bad, doesn't it? Yep. Yes, it does. All right. 
Well, the good thing is we're almost done with this field. Combine's done, so we're going to go ahead and bring this over here and load it up. Let's see, how much we have? 6,900 liters. Of course we do. Why would it be anything different? Let's get this dumped out. These are oats. So what do we have as far as oats goes right now? We have 1,400 or 14,000 liters of oats right now. So prices are going up at ranch, but the price is also good enough to where I think I'd have to keep an eye on it, and I'm not going to keep as good of an eye on it as I should. So I think we will probably sell this right away. May not happen in this video, but it will be sold almost right away. Let's get everybody folded up because the combine is actually done. We're all done with this. Let's get this unfolded, drop it down. This is one of the headers where you've kind of got to drop it and then reattach it. Uh, I guess it's just a, an issue with the original Raw Smash header. And uh, we'll, with this one, you continually have to do it thank you to uh well a lot of you guys that told me that last time i was using this header um, but especially big thank you to golf cart jockey for letting me know because you messaged me first so we'll give you we'll give you the uh the credit for that one right there let's get it up this is we're done almost done with bells too i'm happy everything seems to be moving along very nicely what we've got next is i have got the baling done the baler and the case have already been moved over to the new farm i don't believe there's anything other than bales located at this farm looking around that is true so there's nothing over there sitting waiting on us anything like that so now what we'll do is we're going to take this in and we are going to fill the rest of this trailer up with uh, with oats and we're gonna go sell that as well we'll take a look and see kind of what we've got over here I know I don't like selling stuff if I haven't earned it um, even, even though I'm padding every single sale with stuff from before <laughs> so yeah you know you know this is what it is oats let's go ahead and dump oats in here uh, we are gonna have a few left over let's take a look in here and just see what we've got so we do have some wheat left we do have a few oats left I think we're just gonna leave those in there and not worry about them but it doesn't look like we've got anything else in there so i like the that's cool with me where are we going with this where are we going to sell the oats i believe i mentioned it before we are going to ranch now i know how to get to ranch but i'm gonna tag it anyway just in case even though i'm pretty sure i know exactly where to go there are a couple different ways to get over there there's a shortcut that I really like to use. However, I'm not going to use it this time around. Uh, this map is really cool too because we have a train set up here. So if I want to use that silo for running, you know, extra stuff or run train, you can easily do that. However, I believe there's only one sell point and that is the... Is it the Port Grain Elevator? No, it's not Port Central. Biogas? Nope, nope. Port Grain, yep. So I believe that Port Grain is the only place that you could sell with the train on this map. But it is nice. It is nice to be able to do that. Plus the silo's right over here by us. So if we ever needed to use it, we could easily do that. We'll roll around over here. We're going to take a left out of here and then we're going to take an immediate right down the hill. Through there and down through here. Boop, just like that. Now we got to go across the train tracks down here at the bottom. We'll try not to go super fast. Hopefully the train doesn't come through while we're trying to drive through there. Nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Let's switch over to our front train or the uh, front car and go ahead and cover the back car. Doesn't need to be open. Actually, this one doesn't need to be open either. These things look good behind this. I really like this JCB, but I'll tell you what, it goes just a little bit. It's, it's lacking on the power. One trailer would be fine too. It's a little tough. Two's a little tough. We're going to hang a left as soon as we get into here. Boom, straight through here and up. Now, yes, I did a very extensive Let's Play series on this map way, way back when, when it was released. However, the map has gotten at least two updates since then. And since the last update that we got, it was either earlier in the week last week or the week before, I said, you know what? I think this is going to be a great, great map to play on absolutely right here we go thirty-eight thousand dollars. we're back up to 130 grand cool beans there guys it's time to figure out what we're gonna do with the bales there's a couple options 
and I have considered a couple other options as well. So uh, with these, as far as auto loading goes from in-game base game equipment, uh, we have the Anderson stuff, which does 16 and 14 bills respectively. Uh, we do have some other auto loading stuff as well. So we have the Adirante pack. We have the Flegal pack. Uh, we have another, I believe it's a Flegal pack. Yeah, these guys right here, I do really like these. Uh, see, we could do 18 or 24 or 14 bales uh, respectively with these, which is kind of neat. And then, of course, going through, we've got a few other things in here as well, but things that we're not going to be using. But if I go over here <laughs> and a miscellaneous, I've got places where I can actually stack these guys. So we can place down like a square straw bale stack. So if I wanted to hang on to these, let's say, for example, I would just bring this over to a field that I own or an area that I own. Uh, more specifically, this area right here. And I could just place down a straw bale stack and start stacking straw bales. We could do that. We could even put a barn down, which is a little bit pricey. So that's that. I've also got a few other things in here as well, stuff that we're using on other maps. But I think it's just a little bit big. We are going to place it just to see if um, if it's even going to look right. <laughs> but where are they? That's going to be the big question here. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Come on, big money, big money. No whammies, no whammies. And stop. Nope. <laughs> How much crap do I have installed? This guy right here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This guy right here. This is what I'm talking about. Now, the thing is... Is it too far? So we can't get it too far this way. What does it say? Don't own that land. What land is that? That's a road land, I believe. So we can't get it all the way out there. But, like I said before, the bell stack itself. I was about to say froze my game there. Square bell stack. I can get this all the way out here. So I think this is what we're going to go with, at least for right now. Just because it works. So we're going to get this as close to the edge and as close to the side as we can. All right there. Does that look good to you guys? Looks good to me too. Perfect. Square bales are in and that is good. But we've still got to find a way to pick them up. Hopefully this trailer looks good. I was not pleased with it at all whenever I bought it. Yep. I'm not really pleased. Oh, goodness gracious. A little off-road in action here. I'm not exactly pleased with it now either. I'm going to hang on to it. We'll just keep it and see what happens. I decided to go with the JCB colors. I was like, yeah, I got a JCB tractor, so it'll look great. And I was a little bit mistaken. We didn't go with the largest trailer. I just went with a more medium-sized one. So this will hold 18 straw bales or square bales, any, any type of square bale that you put on here. It'll hold that just fine. So we're going to take this. And this is going to be what we use to collect everything. We're going to start with the farthest away bales and then work our way in. So slowly but surely, we have le or less and less distance to travel to get back. But we do have quite a few bales. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have 44 bales. So we're going to be making three trips today. Should be nice and easy. Boop. There's one. Boop. There's two and so on and so forth. Now, if my understanding of this uh, bell stack mod up here is correct, we should just be able to drive over and the bells will automatically place themselves in and we have to drive over the front portion and we have to unload the bells onto the trailer just like so. However, well, almost, right? <laughs> there we go. All right, so bells are stacking up, looking good. And if we need to go up, we can come right here. That's a trailer. <laughs> oh, it's telling me what's in the way. Gotcha. Uh, but they say we have 18 bells as a capacity of 168. They are 4,000 liters, totaling 72,000 liters max. So very cool. And if we move this out of the way, it'll tell us, you know, hey, the whatever you had in my way. Not in my way to get out of here, birds. You guys are in my way. Get out of here, birds. This is my map. Second run through here. Let's go ahead and get those guys unloaded right onto the trailer. Yeah, they are good. We'll drive a little bit closer now. There we go. That's starting to work a little bit better. Perfect. 
I'm digging that. That's all right. Let's get uh, let's get out of here, birds. There we go. And a couple more to pick up. And then bales will be all done, but we will not because we need to be able to get rid of that farm without selling any of the stuff on it. I don't want to sell any of the stuff because if I want to buy that farm again one day, I want to be able to do that. And I want to be able to use the stuff that's there now uh, because the modder has done an amazing job making it look like they belong. Now, I don't want to mess that up. Last stop. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It doesn't auto load uh, into anything. There we go. Boop. Cool. All right. Bells are good. Bells are done. What we need to do is A, save the game, and there we go. Go in, save game. Next, I need to sell any area that I know we're not going to be using. So, field one. I do, we don't need that area anymore, but unfortunately, fields two and three, if I try and sell that, it says I can't because I've got objects on it. So I'm going to get rid of 31 as well. That leaves us with only two areas, right here and right here. I believe I know exactly this area. I believe I know exactly which one that is going to be. However, I don't know for sure. So we've got both of these. Let's sell, or save rather. We're going to quit the game, and we're going to go into the XML file. We're going to find both of those. We're going to completely remove both, and then come back in the game, find out what they cost, add that into our, our pocket or whatever you want to call it, and then rebuy one of them. That's how we're going to do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my Farming Simulator 2019 shortcut, which is right here. This can also be found in Documents and Games. But we're here. I'm going to find my game save, which is game save number seven. And then I'm going to go to farmland and edit with Notepass++. Plus Plus. Now, I'm seeing farmland ID farm ID one. I think this is it. And so without causing too much trouble, I'm going to change that one to a zero. I am about 100% sure that's it. So without, because the other one's 42, it's kind of out there a little bit. So I am going to oh, hope. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do both. Forget it. <laughs> do them both. Boom. Zeros across the board. Zero means you don't own it. Boom. Just like that. Now I could go back into my game into Farming Simulator 19. Boom. Right here. Let's jump in and let's make it happen. Well, it comes down to this. Let's find out and see. Well, we start here, all of our stuff's around, that's good. And we don't own nothing, good. First things first, value 161,000, so 16, 16, 64. We're gonna cheat that in. 16, 16, 64. Got that. And we are going to buy this area right here, which we owned all alone. Boom, we've got that. And then, what about this area right here? 261,983. Okay, so 261983. 261983. Boom. And that is how much money we have. Perfect. So, we are going to buy, repurchase rather, 31. Uh, we need to find out kind of what's in what field. We have sugar beets there. That's going to stink. Uh, sunflowers, that's great, but we don't have a sunflower header, so we may figure out what to do with there. But I think as of right now, having just one field, field 31, might be the best way to start this. Unless we've got some cool stuff over here that's ready to go. Anything across the road? There are, but I'm not sure. Is that oats? That is not. That is corn. So we have got corn and canola over there. Well, we don't own those headers, so I'm not even going to try. But I do know that we are going to be starting soybean harvest the next time I'm on here, which will likely be uh, sometime tomorrow, maybe in a live stream, maybe not. We shall see. But between now and then, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you had fun, and I hope you have kind of got a vision into how I like to play and just how I enjoy playing Farming Simulator by myself. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know. I know a longer video. I don't do many longer videos, but 
they're good to have and they're a lot of fun. Plus, it allows me to kind of enjoy myself and slow down and, and pace everything a little bit better and do it right the first time. But that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.